three, two, one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kwame Boateng. I go by the name of Mr. PBK. And I am Sia, aka Mrs. Boateng, Sia Sweets on YouTube. If you follow me, make sure you subscribe, Sia Sweet. That's right. And I am the founder, creator, stylish, director of Sire for the gentleman. And pretty much Sire means a, a form of an address to a can. So whenever you wear my, my brand, I want you to feel like a royalty. And for me, I am the founder, creator, sole owner of Slighted by Sia, where it's all women's brands, it's, you know, it's, it's affordable, it's dress up, dress down, it's whatever your heart desires. Check it out. All right, so today, we are here to answer some questions for our, our friend, our dear friend, Corbina Boateng. AKA the fam. AKA the fam, yeah. He is a stylist blogger, a fashion blogger, excuse me. He's a fashion blogger and he has asked us to answer these define your sweat questions for I him. I mean, we're so honored to be featured. I know we're going to be part of his first little kind of launch on his blog. So That's right. make sure y'all check it out. Yo, support black, black owned. We're taking over. That's right, black owned business. You know what I mean? We are heading up there. All That's right. right. Okay, babe. So, ladies first. I'm gonna ask you the question. Hey. All right. So the first question that we have here is favorite season for fashion. I would say it's tricky because living in Canada, we have like a hundred seasons, honestly. But I would say for fashion, I love summer. Don't get me wrong, but I would say fall because you know it's not too not too cold, not too warm. It's good enough to just kind of. Put on a fur jacket. Right. You can put on your, you know, your um, thigh high boots. You can put on your ankle boots. You can just kind of play around with fashion, and the leaves are just beautiful. It's just breathtaking. For sure. Yeah. All right. So, uh -huh. same for you. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. So, what is your favorite season for fashion? My favorite season for fashion. I hate the cold. I hate the cold. <laughs> but yes, yes. You know, I would have to go with you. Fall. I think fall is the the perfect weather for fashion because you can layer up, layer down, you know, you can switch up your style, you don't have to be too bossed up with, you know, too much gear like winter. And fall, like, if you get the right weather for fall, sometimes you can even, you know, go up, like, you know, go about with a t-shirt, you know, a t-shirt and like a light jacket and you're good to go. So I would say fall too for me. Alrighty. Alright, so question number two, describe your style in one word. Oh man, that's hard, but I would say the first word that comes to my head when I think about Selective Isaiah or my style is definitely unique. It's, you know, I always try to strive to go for things that are, you know, like things that are, might be kind of not in trend at the moment, but I know it will stand out. So I would say definitely unique creates my style. For All sure. right, so same for you. Describe your style in one word. My style in one word is just simple, it's bold. I'm bold, man. It's like I can wear anything and and still look confident in it. You know, like I, I don't care what it is. It could be a ripped t-shirt. It could be a mesh sire shirt, like what I'm wearing right now, and I can make it look fly. You know, like I'm okay. so confident. My confidence is just crazy. So yeah, one word for me would be bold. Nice. All right, let's move on. All right. So the third question will be. One trend I wish people would stop. Ooh, what is that, babe? Uh, for me, I would say I wish people would stop wearing the dirty sneaker trend. Oh, like, yeah. It just, it just don't work. You know, you can't be all fresh and so clean and you right. look down and them sneakers ain't right. right. Know, let's, right. let's keep the sneakers clean, okay? No right. dirty sneaker trend. Right. And you know, as a retired sneakerhead myself, it's like, you know, all my sneakerheads will know. You know, you gotta have that one toothbrush. You know, I mean, just make you know that toothbrush is just for your sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, for me being a retired sneakerhead, because you know, back in the day, my sneaker game was crazy. You know, you know, like you know, for now I'm still doing alright. You know, but back in the day it was too much. You know, but yeah, so I would say I would say sneakerheads out there will know what you know what my wife is talking about. Yeah. So that same question for me. Uh, one trend I wish people would stop. Honestly, it's only been a one trend. It's like I see it a lot on social media. It's like when somebody or like when a fashion 
you know designer like Gucci or you know like um, um, Fendi you know bring something out everybody has to get that same thing you know if it's a Gucci shoe or a Fendi bag or a Dior fanny pack I see everybody on on the ground with that same look and that to me that's not fashion that to me that's just like you know following the crowd you know you have to be different you know what I mean like you have to let your style you know define who you are if you're just gonna like, like you know, follow like the hardest trend that's not fashion bro you know what I mean so just be original be yourself and I think that's what I would like to see people stop doing is you know following what's the hardest you know way at that time yeah alrighty Oh, yeah, turn. so question number four will be a, yes, one trend you want to see come back. Mm, for me, I love, 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 love bell bottoms. Like, I think they're super cute. I know some people might be like, oh no, because you know, it's so 70s, but I love bell bottoms. Like, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can literally wear a t shirt with it, you can have a blazer with. Um, with bell bottoms, so I would definitely love to see it come back. I love bell bottoms. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. okay. What about you? What would you like to For see? For me, you know, surprisingly, you know, as well dressed as I am, you know, I'm a basketball fanatic, so I would like to see the throwbacks basketball jerseys come back. You know what I mean? Because I think that era of basketball jerseys, fitted caps, you know, long t shirts. You know, but just the basketball jerseys though, you know what I mean? Because I think I can rock a throwback basketball jersey, you know, with some fly kicks, you know what I mean? Some nice washed jeans, and I'll be pretty flat. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we're on question number five. Yeah, so question number five for you, my darling, is favorite fashion brand at the moment? What is I would say favorite? for brand, I like what Alexander Wang is doing. Yeah, I'm liking his, you know, his bags. I'm liking his shoes. They really, really stand out and catch my eye. I love okay, it. okay. What like about that, you? Like have that. you got your favorite? Mine. I got a shout out, Virgil, Virgil Abloh, Off White. You know what I mean? You know, founder and chief executive officer of Off White. You know, he's an inspiration to me. You know my fellow Ghanaian. You know I like what you know what he's doing with the Off White brand and also the you know Louis Vuitton. You know the LV section. You know that you know he's creating for them. So I'll definitely say my uh, my inspiration. Also my um, what's the, what's the question? Yeah, the favorite brand right now. Yeah, the fit like my favorite brand right now would be Off White. Yeah, by Virgil. Yeah, what up, Virgil? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next question for you, number six, will be. Give me three accessories that you can't leave the house without. Ooh. I would say definitely bracelets. Mm -hmm. I never used to be the one for bracelets because I always like my arms bare. But ever since my mom gave me this super beautiful Tiffany bracelet. Thank you, mother. It's beautiful. Yeah, shout out my mother-in-law. Yes, I love it. So bracelet, um, earrings, whether it's studs, whether it's hoops, whether it's you know something more kind of outgoing like what I have on right now. SBS earrings. SBS as well, yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, so I would say bracelet, earrings, and definitely shoes. I consider shoes accessories because it's you can dress it up, you can dress it down. So definitely, those are my three. Things that I would take for sure, for sure. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Okay, for me, honestly, uh, three accessories that I can't leave the house without. Number one, and it's for all my mandems, all my fellas that have dry lips. I cannot go. That's not an accessory. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. To me, trust me. To me, it's yo, I'm telling you, it is. To me, it is. To me, that is an accessory. That's a fashion accessory. You can't be looking all fly with some chop lips. No, you cannot. To me, that's an accessory. Okay. So my my cocoa butter, you know, chop lip. You know what I mean? That's one. You know, two, a fly sneaker. You know, it could be Vans. It could be. Jordans, you know, it could be Nike, you know what I mean, Adidas, you know, the list go on. But a fly kicks is always, always a must, you know, a nice clean t-shirt, a nice clean t-shirt, you know, also does it for me, you know what I mean. And let's say like, you know, a bomber jacket, you know what I mean, a bomber jacket is all, always one, two for me, so, yeah. You have to pick three, you pick like ten. Or did I? Okay, alright, fine. So, according to her, my chopstick is not part of it, so, I'm gonna go with sneakers, 
t-shirt and a bomber jacket. We good? Alright, we're good. Alright, alright. Right. Yeah. Alright, all right, so the next question that I have for you here uh, is who yeah, who is your biggest style inspiration? Oh. For me, this one is tough. Cause like to be honest, like I grew up like my mom, you know, she loves to dress up. She always looks fine till this day. Till this day. But I would say currently, honestly, I would say my husband. Because he is an inspiration to me as well, especially with us partnering and, you know, I'm coming out with my own brand. He's coming out with his own brand. So we always have to share ideas. We always have to brainstorm and see, you know, what works with each other. But I love just kind of seeing him be so creative, put colors together, put sweaters with things that I don't even think would go. But, like, once he puts it together, it just amazes me. So Aww. definitely my happy. Thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. And, um, yeah, so... Who is my biggest style inspiration? Um, inspiration. Honestly, I'ma say her too. You know, I'm saying. Don't say that because I said. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not because I'm telling you, like, let me be real. She put me on game, though. You know, it's like in some days she dresses me. You know, I'm saying some days she dresses me. So you know, like hands down to my wife. She definitely, you know, is a big inspiration behind Saya as well. You know, I consult her if I have questions, and you know, if like. I'm um, like fighting away, okay, like what do you think this will go with this or do you think this color is too bold or you know so she definitely gives me a good ear and a second feedback so I'll definitely say my, my wife and I mean hairstyle game woo if you don't follow her on IG yeah if you don't follow her on IG selected by Sia hairstyle game is off the chain you know what I'm saying and then you might learn something from her so I definitely say my wife. Oh, thank you, happy You're welcome. Nice you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So next question is: one item in your closet you regret buying. Oh. This one is tough because, to be honest, I am not an impulse buyer. Like I will window shop. I will see what's out there first before I purchase. So I don't know if I've purchased something that I've regretted yet. Like I literally love everything I bought. Wow. That's the truth. <laughs> wow. Good for you, good for you, good for you. I can't say the same about myself. I, I on the other hand, I am an impulse buyer, and I think my wife knows this. And um, if I go to the store and if I see something, even if I don't need it, the fact that I saw it, you know, like I must get it. And then I come back later, and I'm like, uh, did I really need this? Mm -hmm. Or do I really need this sneaker? Because mm -hmm. I have like three other pairs that would have went with, with, with that outfit. I didn't have to buy that sneaker or buy that shirt. You would literally buy the same shoe, but in 10 different colors. Pretty like, much. Why do you need 10 colors? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. So yeah, I would definitely say, yeah, that would be it. Yeah, I'm definitely. So yeah, let's move on from that. So next question will be in a year how often do you clean your closet? Man, I would say every couple months because as much as I love to buy stuff, it's important to get rid of stuff too. Of course, so yes, what I do is we either pack it all up, we you know give back to the community, we go to a salvation army, we go to a women's in need and give it away that way, or give it to a friend, give it to my mom, or if it's something that I really, really love, I would like maybe resell it on SBS. So there's like I usually try to get rid of stuff as much as I like to have new stuff, I try to make sure there's like a cycle going on where if I'm going to buy something, I'll get rid of something. Because you don't want to be the clutter person, right? You don't want to be that, you know, hoarder that never lets go of clothes yeah, from sure, 2002, sure. Absolutely, you know? so, absolutely. Because, you know, fashion, you know, fashion is a way of life. So it's like, you can't be working like, you know, rocking in the same thing that you wore last year or two yeah. years. No, no, you gotta always explore different type, like aspects, you yeah. know, of clothes and so yeah, so for me, um, that same question, I would say I I um I, I get rid of stuff a lot. Like I clean up my closet probably every month, you know, because I have brothers, I have you know siblings that you know like in, you know what I wear. So I'm always recycling my stuff, you know. I just you know send a whole lot of sh I mean, shipment to my you know to my cousin back in Ghana, West Africa, you know. So I can't wait for him to get all my you know pre worn you know pre loved items you know what i mean like i'm sure he's very excited as well 
So yeah, so I definitely recycle a lot of my clothes. So yeah. yeah. Alrighty. So ooh, that's question. I like this one. Question number ten. Sneaker head or modest kicks? Which one are you? I am definitely a sneaker head. Low key, low key. Because there's some sneakers that I see that I'm just. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not the one that has like 50 Jordans. No. But I do like, if I see a unique sneaker I love, I'll definitely cop it. So yeah, definitely sneaker head. Yeah. Right. What about you, sneakerhead or modest? Oh, uh, you know, you know, right now, I would say for me right now, you know, I'm low key, low key modest kicks. Yeah, right. I'm a retired sneakerhead, guys, you know, so I'm definitely a sneakerhead, you know, you know, till this day, I still have a few, you know, a few collectibles, you know what I mean, you know, F4Gs, you know what I mean, you know, I got some, you know, some SB dunks going on too, so I'm definitely a sneakerhead. Yo, shout out to all my sneakerhead, man. Low so fly lodges, I see you man. Shut up my sneaker heads. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so next question will be heels or flats? Oh. I'm definitely heels. That's a no-brainer. I love my heels. I wear my heels a church. I wear my heels. Wherever I can wear heels, I'm gonna wear heels. So I'm a heels girl. Oh, sure. Well that question just for her. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, we'll just leave it as that. Heels <laughs> or flats? No, 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 no. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. So it so says the question number twelve will be a fashion trend I'd love to try, but I'm too scared to is. What is it? Ah, uh, what I would try. Honestly, I am super daring. So I, I'm proud to say that there's nothing out there that I'm not scared to try. If I love it, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, uh, for me, I see these out lately. Is um, I see guys wearing bell bottoms and fellas. Yeah, you know, if you into that style of fashion, that's cool. I know you know one of my mans who you know who loves that. You know, you know what I mean. But for me, that's not my cup of tea. You know what I mean. But, but would you try it? Would though? I try it? Probably not. Just. Honestly, you have the love to try it, but you're scared to. Oh, would I try it? Yeah. No, no. That but what's something that you would love to, to try, try, but I'm scared? scared to. Nothing, 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 nothing. Yeah, nothing will be that. Yeah, so, yeah, we we'll say nothing. Alright. Next question. Yeah. So, vintage or new? I would say vintage. I love vintage because it's unique. You can get really, really creative and just put looks together that you know, you know, it's not 10 pieces available at the mall, you know? Sure. So I love my vintage. I love shopping for vintage. Even if we travel somewhere, the first thing I Google is where the vintage store, where the sure. consignment store. Like, I love that. I love traveling and seeing different, you know, different stores that offer vintage stuff. So I'm definitely all for vintage. And this question is a prime example of how she inspires me too because maybe we'll say what, 10 years ago, 10 years ago I would have never said vintage. I'd have said new all the way. But she had opened my eyes and opened my world to a whole nother variety of collectibles, like unique stuff that when I wear it, nobody wears it. So yeah, that, that same question I would say vintage for me too. Nice, nice. Yeah. Alright, so question number 14 says, What's the most adventurous thing you've ever worn? Ooh. I would say for me it would be recently when we did go on a little trip. I would say my um, all lace bodycon dress. I know it's super risky because it's all lace and it got a little poof on the bottom. It's a little high neck. But to me it was just so sexy. 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 It was just so daring. Sexy. It wasn't meant to be trashy. I sexy. didn't see it as trashy. But yeah, it was just, it was very adventurous for me. Hey, I loved, and the I husband, loved every minute of it. The husband approved it, okay? So, you know, <laughs> I loved watching her you know, dress up in that. You know, you know the gorgeous yeah, and I got, thank you, baby. And I got a lot of compliments. So, it, it's yeah. nice to kind of just see yourself in something that you want to do and you, you're you daring to do it, you know? Fashion is all about being daring, too, because sometimes right. you have to have that confidence, you know, that, hey, I can rock this and I will rock it. So, yeah. Facts. What about you? Same goes for you. Yeah, so for me... What is the most adventurous thing you've ever worn? I would say it's a vintage, again, vintage, vintage leather pants my wife got for me. <laughs> I uh, forgot about that. Right, right? So, lovely, right? so oh exactly, God. right? Uh -huh. I never wore leather pants before, you know, and I was my friend. And I, I rocked it out of it, you know what I mean? Like, I rocked it well, but that was... Probably the most, you know, I would say, yeah, hope you don't let the pants, yeah. 
All right, the next question will be baseball fits or newsboy caps? Um, definitely a baseball fit. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I think it yeah, like actually goes Especially too. the sire ones. Yeah, sire, oh, sire. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. I love them. I got sire, sire baseball fitted, you know, coming up soon. I got sire tracker hats coming up, you know, sire beanies, like, in, you know, like the one I'm wearing right now, you know what I'm saying? This one is the small size one, you know, so, yeah, definitely a, a baseball fitted for, you know, for both of us. Yeah. All right, what's next? All right, next would be, let's see here, it says, backpack or jean pockets? Um, I would say more of a jean pocket. I don't do backpacks too often, but I do love this backpack here though. Well for me, as you can see, you know, backpacks for me, you know, backpacks are you know, you know, uh, body, you know, crossbody, you know, I mean fanny bags, you know, I mean shoulder bags, you know, man bags, you know, definitely, you know, the whole bag movement for guys, you know, is doing it's doing it for me, so I, I'll definitely say backpacks. And as you can see, you know, I mean, my, you know, introducing, the, you know, a sire, you know, backpack for men or for your kids, you know, I mean, for your, you know, sons or daughters, you know, like whether they're going to school or whether they're traveling or whether they're going to work, you know, sire men's backpacks, you know, coming to you. Awesome. Yeah, super cute. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right. So next question will be diamonds or pearls? Ooh. I pearls. I love pearls because I mean it's so vintage, it's so classic and timeless. But nowadays, I'm a diamonds girl. Love a nice rock. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, I'll leave that question for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Next question will be lipstick or lip gloss. Definitely lip gloss. The lip gloss game has just amped it up now. I love lip gloss. I used to hate shiny, you know, glossy lips, but now bring it on. I love it. Love every shade. Not done, not done. For me, it will be chapstick, guys. <laughs> you know, cocoa butter chapstick. If you are a chapstick guy, like, chapstick. I don't know. Let me see. If you're a chapstick guy, try the cocoa butter chapstick. Thank you later. Oh my god. All right. Next question. Next question. Last thing I bought was what? Last thing I bought. Last thing I bought was outfits. Cause I have my tailor, so I, I would go to Fabric Land, uh, buy a whole bunch of fabric. So yeah, that's pretty much the last thing I remember buying, other than the other outfits. But the last course, thing course. that I focused on was the fabric. Course, no doubt. For me, the last thing I bought that I didn't need was another sneaker. Uh, it's yeah. a problem, y'all. Yeah. Problem. I bought a sneaker just to wear to the swimming pool. Because that sneaker matched my outfit. I just, you know, I couldn't help myself. But again, yeah, so that was the last thing I bought. Was a sneaker to match my outfit to the swimming pool. Yeah. All right, so to end off this 20 questions, you feel the sexiest when? Um, I would say I feel sexiest when I have my tailor that has just copped, you know, one of the looks I've put together. I'm about to rock it, you know, I'm going somewhere, it could be anywhere, it could be date night with hubby, it could be girls night out, and I just got my lipstick on, you know, I got my short hair, I'm just hey. feeling myself. So. Hey. Hey. Yeah, hey. that's what I feel sexy. No doubt, no doubt. What about you when you feel sexy? Honestly, I feel sexiest when I'm just in my comfortable sire gear, you know, something that I created myself, you know, something that I designed, you know, I just feel like I can do anything, you know what I mean? So I feel sexiest when I am just in my own clothes. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So this is it. This is it. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace.